Hello, hello everyone, it's Vampy Cat here, and welcome back to the second episode of Life is Strange True Colors. On the first episode, we basically just got started as Alex Chen. We moved to Haven Springs, Colorado to reunite with our long lost brother Gabe after eight years of separation because of the foster care system. We just started meeting the people of the town, and we also struggled to control our power of empathy, which allows us to read and mimic the emotions of other people. And if the emotions are really strong, it's difficult to control. So Alex ended up hurting Gabe by accident because of Max's anger. But at the end of the episode, we did get a really sweet scene between the two siblings where Alex opened up about her powers and Gabe actually believed her. So that was really awesome to see and I can't wait to see more of Alex and Gabe together and get more into the mystery of this game. Where we left off, we are looking for Ethan who has run to the mines in order to explore, but he could possibly be in danger. So we gotta go save him. With that being said, let's just jump right into it. Landed a job on my first day. Maybe this fresh start is still salvageable. Aw, uh, excited to announce we have a new addition to the Black Lantern staff. Happy to have you, Alex. Maybe you could even teach Gabe a thing or two. Hey, she could teach me way more than two things. She's a good sport. Glad you're finally here, Alex. Aww. Something tells me those two weren't <laughs> the best match. One of your neighbors has changed their relationship status. Riley Lath is now single. Proud of you, sweetie. Ouch, Mac. Mazel tov. All right, Typhon Monning will be detonating charges in two hours. Yeah, but not anymore. Haven has an indie movie theater impressive i think i see a lot more of the jukebox game in my future oh psa don't play the jukebox game with alex chen unless you really like terrible booze i'm sure you'll develop a taste for it have your fun now but no revenge is a bedazzled kiwi schnapps shot oh my god that is a tongue twister bedazzled bedazzled kiwi schnapps shot best served cold i've never been more proud that's charlotte's dispensary she seems cool. Oh, Charlotte runs a dispensary. I feel like I should have known that, but I just didn't notice yet. Babe, we've talked about this. Boyfriends are not allowed to participate in giveaways. You know, I can't resist the temptations. That's so cute. I kind of love them. Ryan seems like a sweet guy. Lost dog, my golden retriever has run away. She's very sweet. Please, please let me know if you see her. Let me know beforehand if you want to look for her in the woods, okay? I can help. I love Ryan. Okay, that's it. That's what's, that's all that's new. Oh, and a message from Ducky. Dear Alex, it was very much my pleasure meeting you this evening. I hope you find a welcoming home here in Haven. I look very much forward to our nice, I look very much forward to our next meeting. Sincerely, Reginald McAllister III. Thank you, Ducky. That's very sweet. Ah, look at Alex making friends. Nope. 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 Super nope. A positive attitude. She says super nope. Why do I feel like I've seen this skull on things before already? Is that what is on her shirt? Kind of looks like it, yeah. Will we, though? Violators will be prosecuted. Yeah, not this time. Cool. A murder barn. A murder barn. Ethan, where are you, kid? Maybe Julie McNamara doesn't need your approval. Julie McNamara is a fucking skank. Yeah, fuck you. They were gonna set off charges tonight. Thank God Gabe got a hold of them. Yeah, I have had bad feelings about this mine from the fucking beginning. Uh, How is the rubber zombie the least creepy thing out here? Look at him! <laughs> His stupid sunglasses. The real monster here is underage drinking. Hey, bro. Wanna get wasted at the old mine? That was a lovely impression, Alex. You don't realize until you're up close, but mining equipment is super murdery. 
my joyride in this will have to wait until after we found Ethan. Oh, they're over here. Sorry, I've just been looking around at everything. Wow. Once Ethan's safe, I'll raise one too. Pulled us out of hell. Good lord. Oh yeah, that's right. It was Jed who saved like 19 people from the mines or something like that. Jed's fucking awesome, to be honest. Come on, Ryan. Everyone is depending on you. Ryan won't let his fear get in the way. I'm glad he's here. I'm actually kind of obsessed with Ryan. I'm really obsessed with Ryan. Alex warned me. I could have stopped this. I'm such a fucking fucker. No, you're Nick not. Ethan so much. We have to find him. It's just good that we knew he'd be here. It's not your fault. It's pretty beaten up. Wonder what happened to it. I got you. I got you. It's okay. You're okay. Aww. Oh, God. Oh, God, we're alive. Is that everybody? I need a head count. Jed is the fucking best. Imagine being trapped down there or actually don't all right let's go i've looked at everything what happened here massive cave-in bunch of trapped miners all nearly died jed led the whole team back to the surface god yeah that's the day foreman jed became local hero jed and then typhon closed up this site basically bought jed the black lantern Same logo. Did Ethan base his comic on this place? Oh, and the tunnel collapsed, right. But this is actually the tunnel that collapsed when Jed saved okay. all the miners. Okay. If the wall is an illusion... This is so clever! Nothing obvious. Maybe we should... Look, no, he just anything? gave her. No shit. I'll be damned. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. Sounds like the mind of me. Does it show where he went? Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. Something there. like that? The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building. If we can find a way in. Let's take a look, then. Why am I so obsessed with Ryan? Okay. Ethan based his comic on this place. Maybe I should compare his drawings with other stuff in the area. Oh, this is the zombie. The guard long dead. And that leads to the door. So if I stand this way, this is the zombie. And it leads under probably that gate. So he crawled through here, this open gate here. The blood led under there. But I think he crawled through here. Wait, so did Ethan? Oh man. Absolutely he did. I think there's like a side door back there? I don't know. I can guess there might be. Give me a hand. Okay. Ryan is so calm and dependable. <sighs> you figured that out from a comic book. I'm 
I'm gonna try to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. Ethan must have come through here. How did he get out? Have I got some good news for you. I'm 100% sure that if I picked up the receiver, there'd be like a demon voice on the other end. Anne? You okay? I'm sorry to call you at work. I just came home from the doctor. I couldn't wait for you to come home. Baby doll? I, I'm pregnant, Jed. Aww, with Ryan. He goes up some stairs. And jumps across something and climbs to the watchtower. Okay. What? I am not making that choice for you. Have you seen any action movie? Guess it's up to me then. Oh, it is. Yeah, that did exactly nothing. See? Glad I abstained. Kinda wanna push all the buttons. Also, kinda scared to push any of the buttons. Ugh. Oops. Uh, Let's hope almonds aren't really a thing. Didn't really want to see that. Oh, I cut Ryan off. Ugh. Worse than sleeping on the ground. Nope. Thanor doesn't battle any bed bugs. I think I just saw a rat. I hope it was a rat. Ugh, me too. Ryan, I love you. So much stuff just left behind. This thing has seen better days. Any luck? Oops. Yeah, it was worth a shot, I guess. Ethan must have passed through some other way. Let me see what I can figure out. I know he climbed across something. I just want to look at everything. Ryan seems like he knows what he's doing. Glad he's here. Ryan is so dependable. I hope Alex is right about this comic thing. We're burning minutes here. I hope so too. I'm not confident this is gonna work. Ow. Damn it. If Ethan didn't get out through the door, how did he get out? Up the stairs and climb across. Sorry, I am just wasting time. I I hope that doesn't actually matter. If this is one of those games where it's like, oh, you took too long so to explore. Then I'm gonna cry. Because I know I have to go up those stairs. Hi, scary old building. Please don't collapse while we're inside you. Thanks. <laughs> the little thanks at the end. She's so fucking cute. Wasn't in the comic. Maybe it's full of Twinkies. Those never go bad, right? Okay, 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 up the stairs. Oh yeah, these look safe. Ethan must have gone upstairs. Pretty sure Ethan climbed these stairs. Okay, but then how did he get out of here? Not sure. I'm gonna have a look. He jumped and climbed across something, which is so horribly unsafe.
Okay, I'll stay out. But not because you told me to. Wasn't in the comic. Alex is so stubborn, I love her. Reminds me of the snake thing in Ethan's comic. Yep, I think he jumped out the- or no, maybe he didn't jump out the window, maybe he jumped across this way. That's fucking unsafe! Ethan made the jump from here to the conveyor belt? Oof. Think I'll find another way through. Yeah, we will probably go out the window. But Looks he must like have Ethan jumped across. climbed the conveyor belt out to the silo. Yikes. That's so unsafe! Worth a shot. The silo. We're getting close. Oh no, we're not gonna use the window. We're just gonna use this. Heads up! That's so much safer than climbing across. You figured out the door. Yeah. Turns out you gotta open it. Who knew? Will wonders never cease? God! Alex and Ryan are the fucking best. I like high key ship it. What took you so long? You never forget how to break a lock. It's like riding a bike. Where to next, Alex? trusting us yep he climbed up there Thanor looks out from the watchtower and spots the secret entrance to the stronghold we can just... There. That's where he's heading. That's by the ravine. Shit. Let's go. That little comic segment was so fucking clever and cool. Because we read that comic before. And then it ends up being like a clue later when you don't expect it to. That's just fucking clever writing. I love that. We close? Think so. Ethan! 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 There he is! Ethan! Alex! I'm scared! Oh no! Ethan, I'm coming for you, buddy! Wait. Hold on. Ethan? You okay? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Just hang on. I love that Ryan goes himself because he knows that he knows the area and nature better than anyone else. Don't! Don't, 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 don't. And he'd rather put himself His in danger. Is so strong. If I get near it. It's no good. We're too heavy. <gasps> Alex has to go. Shit. What about me? Alex, uh, are you sure?
Remember how I taught you how to anchor a belay? Awesome. Show me. Oh my god, this is terrifying. You okay? Let's be honest. Honestly? No. And that feeling makes sense. Do me a favor, though. See if you can breathe. I love Ryan so much. Why am I, like, emotional about this? Great. As long as you keep doing that, everything's gonna be fine. Ryan's the best. Alex, can you make eye contact with me? I'm gonna tie this rope around your waist. The other end is tied around your brother. He'll use that stump as a fulcrum to feed rope your direction. Follow? So far. Awesome. You're doing super good. Ryan's so good Remember, at keeping people calm. Slow is steady. Steady's fast. Piece of cake. Ryan is such a good guy. Piece of cake. And he's so fucking good to her, keeping her calm. And making sure she knows that being scared is okay. What we need to do is calm Ethan down. Hang on, Ethan. I'm coming. You got this, Alex. Go back! You'll get hurt! I'm not going to get hurt, and neither are you. You're wrong. Yeah, we need to calm him down. Real close. Just a little further. Hey, Ethan. I'm here to help, okay? No! Get away! Too much. I have to get him to chill out. <sighs> Ethan, I need you to calm down. Can you breathe for me? She's doing what Ryan just did for I her. Never have come out here. I was so stupid. Okay, hey, hey, focus. Talk to me. You wanna tell me how you got out here? I was trying to cross to the other side. Log fell. Oh, That's he's fine. trying to get all the way across. That's okay. Let's talk about what comes next. Gabe's got us. We're not gonna fall. He's got the other end of the rope. No, I can't move if I move. You're not gonna fall, buddy. It doesn't matter. He's not making any sense. I need him to calm down. We can't stay here, Ethan. We have to- It'll see me! If I move, it'll see me! What's gonna see you? You don't understand. He's right. I don't. I can't help him if I don't understand what he's afraid of. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. So she's gonna use her powers for oh, good. God. I can't believe this is happening. I can do this. I can do this. feels. I'm seeing the world like he sees it. I 
brought all this stuff. None of it will save me. I thought I could hurt the monster, but it's hunting me. What monster? Okay. He's not afraid of the fall. He's afraid of... Warden. I thought that was just a story. Hell, some stories are true. Like monsters. So, you're gonna hold my hand, alright? This is so fucking as cute! As long as you're touching me, you're safe. Down, okay? We'll be done before you know it. I'm headed back. Keep tight on the belay, Gabe. <laughs> Not over yet. Oh god. Okay. One step at a time. Time. Okay. Do you think the log will break? We're not gonna make it! Oh, fuck. Shit. I didn't mean to miss that. Oh, they gotta go.
but he he knew he knew if he didn't cut it they would both go down can you imagine having to make that decision against your best friend That's so awful. 53% told the game about Ethan's plans. About half didn't. Oh. Most people didn't express pessimism. But I did it because I wanted to be honest. It wasn't really pessimism about Haven that I was trying to say, though. It was more like because of what she was going through with her powers that she was being honest about how she felt. Oh, this one's about half and half, too. Went along with Gabe's story or was honest. Jed was impressed with Alex's performance. So he can figure out that you've never been a server before. He can figure out that you lied. Half and half beat Steph and didn't beat Steph. Most people had Riley break up with Mac. Next chapter. Here we go. Chapter 2, Lanterns. I kind of wish that the game's description didn't spoil this for us. I would have liked to have been surprised by this. I've always believed this. that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the <laughs> worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before <laughs> until he Aww. came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions <laughs> or essay. <laughs> he booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. <laughs> the first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people, but I only remember him. And then he said, I know, that's why the K is silent. <laughs> uh, then the fifth time he cared about everyone this is a really sweet scene he was the kind of guy you wanted to be around he was a world class bullshitter he was my best friend say about Gabe is he came into this bar as a stranger but he left it as family oh that one hurts <clears throat> guess that's that then what happened to Gabe was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish that- It wasn't an accident. Oh so, my God. Now is not the time. Ryan. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. 
And now... Now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. You're lying. Oh my god. In front of Gabe's own fucking this sister. This is not the time. Alex heard the whole thing. He's right. I was there when Gabe made the call. I'd like to hear what you have to say about that, Mac. I'm not saying anything. Just I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. I don't right, think folks. it was Mac, though. This is an ongoing investigation. How about then... we review the sequence of events? Hmm? Ryan, oh, son, this is when I not saw you at the, the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying. Pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life. Look, I told you there was no call to miss. Okay, maybe the call got dropped. Oh shit, I mean, it's not like it's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. Holy Watch shit. Watch your mouth, Mac. Ryan, that's enough. Now I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time. Bullshit, and Dad. This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time. Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure, I'm... I'm sorry, it's not, I'm just trying. They're both just going through so much grief that they don't know how to process. And some of them process it as sadness and some of them process it as anger. But they all really care. I'm not the one who killed him. And he feels yeah, he feels like it's his fault because he cut the line. Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, I'm hell. just saying. I thought I heard that you Mac, were the one. You shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me interrupt. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. Yeah, that's got to be so hard on Ryan when he had to make that decision. But if he didn't make that decision, what Gabe so and Alex would have been now. dead. <laughs> they wouldn't have been able to pull him back up in time. And Charlotte probably feels like it's her fault too because they went out there to save her son. And of course, Ethan probably feels the same way. God, poor fucking Ryan though, having to make Alex? that decision that, you know, ultimately killed his friend. Even though... Gabe would have died anyways. Hey. He doesn't know that for sure. Fuck those guys. Yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> God, no. I'm a fucking wreck. It's not your job to keep it together. Thanks. Oh my god, this is like to you um really getting to me. It's messy, but do you want to come in? Sure. Like that's such an important sentiment that like you don't have to keep it together after somebody passes away. Like it's okay to be really fucked up about it. For as long as you need to be. You play guitar? Sort of. 
It was a gift from Gabe. Cool. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Till he wiped out. That was hilarious. <laughs> Gabe really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. Yeah. God, this is so fucking hard for all of them. We took this a year ago. We... No way. I can't. What? We actually kept it. worse for Alex not only is she feeling Whatever her own that grief made her think of but she's really feeling messed her up everyone else's grief I too. wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her really going on with staff. Damn it! Fucking overpowered blue meteor. Aww. <laughs> Is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. Then I'll be crashing here tonight. This is so cool. You can see how the other people view different objects because to one person, something might have so many memories and feelings attached to them, and then you might see it and, you know, it's just a fucking object. What are they called again? Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! Their guitarist has one arm! Badass. <laughs> Dude, give it up. I already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait, hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. All right, and this is what we really need to look at. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion, Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst. Can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. Oh, so he beat her, but she let him win because she probably wanted to stay. Her sadness is so strong. I hope I can help. Steph? 
Sorry. This is so embarrassing. It's not embarrassing. I just need some time. Okay. Here's to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I move to Denver next week. You what? I think I know enough to help her now. Oops. Okay. Yeah, I only missed that one. So she decided to stay. Still can't believe he's gone. Yeah. He's the whole reason I'm still... I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. drink or anything? No, thanks. I appreciate the offer, though. Oh, please let me still sure. go through them all. That wasn't right. Oh, I have to pick the right one? Let's ask her to play foosball. That's gotta be the correct one. How about a quick match? Did Gabe tell you we played? I just had a hunch. Yeah? Well, you're right. I don't really think it's a great time. Fine. Aw, this is sweet. First to five points? If you say so. Oh my god. So, how often did you and Gabe play? It was one of our favorite games. You must be pretty good then. Mm-hmm. You were in a band, right? Yeah. What'd you play? drums how uh how long did you play with them <sighs> too long gotcha i'm like so focused on this jesus <clears throat> oh i am destroying her five points that's game Yep. Big shocker. Oh, hey, at least you played your best. I mean, that obviously wasn't my best. No, I get it. I mean, this is a tough game. It requires skill, timing, and the will to be a champion. Oh, is that how it is? Okay, okay. Joking aside, Playing this stupid game with you is exactly what I need right now. You're on. <clears throat> oh, fuck. I'm actually trying this time. Oh, fuck. So you better focus. I am focusing. Good. Wouldn't want you to get distracted or anything. Certainly not. Ah! Greatest Northwest band of all time, go. <laughs> Are you trying to distract me? Oh, of course not. Slater Kinney, if you were wondering. <gasps> it definitely got much harder, but I'm still doing well. person. No. Woo! Shit. Oh, that's a win. 
actually trying that time. <laughs> Don't freeze. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's get serious. One more game, winner takes title of ultimate foosball champion. Mm, I don't know. Come on. You know Gabe would be all about us playing like this. Well, then it's settled. <laughs> this is it for all the marbles. So many marbles. Definitely the kind of game you want to focus on, no matter what happens. Totally. What do you mean, no matter what happens? Hey, so are you into girls or what? Yup. <laughs> yeah. Girls are pretty rad. Right? <laughs> Especially girls that play foosball and host radio stations and wear beanies. Are you flirting religion. with me, Miss Steph? <laughs> Sounds like a winning combo. Who's <gasps> what? What? Oh, fuck! Fuck! <laughs> I knew it. How old are you exactly? Oh, no. Old enough to know better. I did. I was. I was getting so into it. I didn't. I didn't even notice. <clears throat> nope. Nope. Oh my god. I swear to god, I thought that went in. Well, that one definitely went in. <gasps> I won. Woo! Foosball champion. Foosball champion. Goddamn <laughs> family. Oh. <laughs> Good game. Thanks, Alex. I'm really glad you talked me into it. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Of course. <sighs> so... What are you gonna do now? What do you mean? That shit with Mac. He's clearly lying, right? I don't know. I'm not sure what Mac's deal is. His story doesn't add up. Yeah. I do know that I need to find out exactly what happened that night. For myself and for Gabe. I've got your back, no matter what. I love Steph. Thank you. That means a lot. I should head back to work. Cool. Steph is sweet. Bye. Bye. I'm pretty sure it seems like Steph and Ryan are the romance choices in this game. I really don't know who I want to pick. Obviously, I'm obsessed with Ryan, but Steph is really, really sweet as well. And I like both of them together. Kind I of know Gabe made in that different call, ways. But did Mac really let the blast go off just to get back at him? Yeah, I don't know. Like, Steph and Alex together are more kind of playful. But Ryan does a really good job of helping Alex calm down and like just being kind to her needs even if he doesn't fully understand them he's really cognizant of like how she's feeling but Steph also is there for Alex and helps her have fun and stuff at least I got to have a few good moments one of the happiest memories I have Thanks, Gabe. Thank God for this thing. We'd never have found Ethan without it. I wonder how she's really holding up. 
God, Charlotte's got to be having it terribly because Gabe died trying to save her son and she had already been warned that her son was trying to go out there so she must feel like it's her fault that she didn't watch him closely enough that he ended up sneaking out there anyways god it's an living awful situation but it's better than leaving the apartment so long depression food Cleaning up changed things. Is there anything else I can clean? Can I put this away? God, I'm such like an organizational person. Not much to toast at the moment. It feels like a million years since that day with Gabe. It hasn't even been a week. Poor fucking Alex has been separated from her brother for eight years and gets less than a week with him before he passes away. That's fucking awful. The kind of person who got that worked up over a college essay could be capable of almost anything. I don't think it's Mac. That's way too obvious. And he seemed too like, I don't know. He just didn't seem like he was acting guilty. And he was quick to admit that it was his shift. If he was really the person who did it, he wouldn't immediately be like, oh yeah, that was my shift, and put suspicion on himself. Fuck. I just got him back. How can he be gone? Hey, Shushu. Thanks for sticking around. Ultimate foosball champion. I like the sound of that. Would have been fun to see Gabe crush some sweet powder. Or whatever snowboarders say. Alex, I'm having a small event for your brother tomorrow at 9. I'd love to have you there, but no pressure, okay? You take all the time you need, Jed. Jed is so fucking sweet. And everyone is being really kind to Alex. Alex, let me know if you need any groceries. I'll cover the cost. Jed. Thanks, Jed. Alex, I'm so sorry. Apartment's yours for as long as you need. You know where to find me if anything comes up. Jed is the fucking best. And I love that he's kind of slipping nose under the door because he probably understands that, like, not everybody likes or wants social interaction in moments like these. Like, everybody grieves in different ways. So he's kind of, like, not forcing her to interact with anybody, but still letting her know that, like, he's there for her and wants to help her. I never got to see bartender Gabe in action, but he left some pretty big shoes to fill. Getting dressed shouldn't be so hard. And yet. Oh, I get it, though. Wait, there's an upstairs? See? I can be a person. Alright, I think that's everything I could clean. Turntable cat. I like it. Okay, what is upstairs? Oh yeah, the roof. That's right. Oh my god, this is such a beautiful view. The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. We should have gotten so many more sunsets. I'll toss those soon. I swear. No birds today. Gabe was such a dad. Gabe really loved this place. I mean, it's beautiful. This thing's been up here a while. 
Isn't that Steph's old band? You could stay here too. I wouldn't try to stop you. Yeah, good. I'll be the only trans person in a town with a population of like four. That sounds like a blast for me. Thanks for not trying to stop me. I'm sorry, Izzy. It's not you. And it's not the band. I fucking love that shit. But I need to try this. It's just time for something new. Oh, that's when Steph moved here. I knew it. I knew this would happen eventually. Fucking see you around, Steph. I bet Gabe could even make golf fun. Putting it like right out on the water like this, do you know how many balls I would probably fucking sink into the water? This is gorgeous though. Imagine living just in a place that's this beautiful. All of the mountains and the water and everything. It's so pretty. All right, let's go. Oh, what's this? Why look up at the sky when you could look at a sculpture instead? Oh, the little cacti. Okay, let's sit for a minute. Reminisce. I thought this was gonna be the one. Finally. Despite all the disappointments, I really let myself believe. I believed you completely. I let myself hope, really hope, for the first time in years. I'm so sorry, Alex. Even after I freaked out in front of you and hit you, you didn't push me away. You sat right there and told me that I wasn't broken, that I was special, and I belonged. Then you died, and I don't know what to believe now. Except you're gone again, and I'm still here. Alone. It's so sad seeing the empty chair. It's like seeing all of the memories and all of the things that you did with that person after they've passed. It just like, it feels almost, I want to say tainted, but not necessarily tainted in a bad way. It's just like those memories and those times and those places just feel so different after a person passes away and they're almost like sacred and like doing those things without the person just almost feels wrong you know like those memories need to kind of be kept preserved how they were it's really sad okay time for us to leave the apartment we cleaned let's go Things got pretty heated back there. Oh, hey, kid, you don't have to do that. Too late. Wanted to apologize for all of us. We're all grieving, but that's no excuse. It was your brother's wake, and you both deserve better than listening to a bunch of fools squabble. I appreciate it. That was pretty rough. Although it's hard to imagine a good version of your dead brother's wake. No, there's no good version. Just all of us trying to get through it together the best we can. It wasn't the first wake held in this old building. I doubt it'll be the last. Anyway, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. I wonder if he's talking about his wife. I need to talk to Mac. 
I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find him? Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Thanks. I feel like I should warn you, though. You might not get the kind of closure you're looking for. If you get any at all. Just... Don't pin all your hopes on Mac Loudon. Thanks for looking out for me, but... What else am I supposed to do? I wish I had an answer for you. But, if you get a chance before you go all dirty hairy, swing by the dispensary. Charlotte wants to see you. And one more thing. I've been meaning to give you this for the last few days, but I didn't want to disturb you up there. It'll get you through that door and the one upstairs. Thank you, Jed. This is your home now, for as long as you'd like. As long as I like? Really? I don't want to make any assumptions or put any pressure on you about what to do next, but you're always welcome. Jed. Thank you. He's so sweet. <laughs> I love Jed. I, I have no idea what to even say to him. Alex, I'm so sorry. I should have saved him. I knew he blamed himself, but he had to make that decision. If he didn't cut the rope, they both would have died. Alex would have died too. I don't know what to say. Hey, that was terrible. You shouldn't have had to see that. I know you're going through a lot, but can we talk? I know it's asking a lot, but I think I really need to talk to you. It's understandable for him to be angry. Partially he's angry because those blasts weren't supposed to go off. And also he's angry because he probably felt like he should have been able to do more. But in that moment, like he had to make the best decision that he could. There's a lot of anger that comes with grief too. And I, I totally understand Ryan. Morning, Alex. Did you get my notes? I'll be holding a small service for game at 9 a.m. today. If you care to join us, no pressure at all. Thanks, Jed. I'll be down soon. Glad to hear it. So she must have just been kind of locked up in that room for a while, which is totally understandable. Alex, I'm so sorry. Please let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Hey, Alex. It's Steph. I'm so, so sorry. I loved Gabe. I can only imagine what you're going through. Please call me if you need anything. Alex, I'm so sorry. You don't have to respond, but I just wanted to tell you. Thank you for saving Ethan's life. I don't know what I would do if I lost him. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. This, too, is so realistic that, like, after somebody passes away, you just have so many messages from so many different people, and it's, like, something you really appreciate because it shows how many people are looking out for you, but it also is, like, so fucking overwhelming when you just lost somebody. And... You see so many just messages about it. I feel sick. We're here at Typhon. We here at Typhon Mining were shocked and saddened to hear about Gabe Chen's death. Such loss of life is always tragic and affects many in our community. We'd like to take this time to assure the community that Typhon remains committed, as always, to following the strictest safety practices in the industry. Your community is our community, and we will cooperate with any and all law enforcement investigations until this matter can be properly laid to rest. Fuck Typhon. In all the darkness that the oh my god. In all the darkness that surrounds the death of a loved one, I think it's important to remember the good times, so I want to share one of my favorite memories of Gabe Chen. I just sold him a bouquet and he admitted that he'd put his foot in his mouth again with his girlfriend and needed to make it up to her. I sent him on his way with some lovely tulips, but fifteen minutes later there he was again. 
I asked Charlotte if I could have her two lips in exchange for these two lips, so now I'm back. What a guy. Practically kept us in business. I think I actually remember this. Guy could sure light up a room. No kidding. The Silver Dragon will be operating on irregular hours for the next few weeks. Check the website for more details. Sorry for any inconvenience. Let me know if I can do anything for you. Hang in there. You're not alone. I can open the shop for you if you need whatever I can do. Gabe was the most caring person I've ever met. He never stopped looking for ways to make life better, whether that meant coming to Haven to find his dad. Oh. He went there to find his dad? Or fighting to get a grill all the way up the stairs to his rooftop. And he was always willing to help anyone else who wanted to improve their lives. He probably put even more hours into my college interview than I did. He was the kind of person you meet once in a lifetime. Goodbye, Gabe. I'll miss you forever. Lovely message, dear. I'm here if you want to talk. Same here. Ethan Fear. It's so easy for your brain to turn on you. The same part of you that tells stories and makes art and gives the world order and beauty and meaning is the part where nightmares grow. And sometimes those nightmares leak out, seep into the world around you. I can still see Ethan collapsing in on himself at the edge of the ravine, so scared that he couldn't move, couldn't breathe. I reached out because I had to reach out. I submitted to his fear because I couldn't think of any other way forward. And it worked. We made it back and I collapsed on the hard, solid ground and I kept thinking, this is who you can be if you want to be. Someone who helps people. Someone who understands. For a few seconds, everything was so clear. But then the ground wasn't solid anymore and Gabe was gone. What good am I to anyone if I couldn't stop that? Oh my god, Alex. None of it will save me. Ninth Warden wouldn't be afraid. I thought I could hunt the monster. Thought I could hunt it. Thought I could be brave. Nothing can save you. There's nothing to save. Steph's sorrow. Steph's sadness was born out of love. It wasn't empty. There was dimension to it, a form and volume of loss that I could step inside. In there, I met a Gabe who felt much like my own, only more so. An instigator, a listener, a prodder, a cheerleader, a shitster. A brother, basically. It wasn't long, but it was long enough to know exactly what Steph needed. The best piece of my brother I could conjure for her from thin air for just a moment. So I kicked her ass in foosball and celebrated in the most ob obnoxious way I could, naturally. It was dumb and goofy and over in a flash, but in its wake the sadness was lifted. And Gabe didn't seem quite as gone as before. First Ethan, now Steph. I'm, I think I'm finally starting to understand this thing. Gabe was right. It is a gift to connect to someone. To feel what they're feeling. To help them. Just wish he'd been around to tell me earlier. Foosball champion, don't shit on my yard. I'll be crashing here tonight. Move to Denver. One more game. I want to make things right. I don't want to fight. So I'll be crashing here tonight. Don't turn off the lights. Oh my god, I'm still like, I can still feel the tears. This is really, really beautifully done, but it's getting to me so badly. But I feel like so far, this game has captured grief so perfectly. I bet Gabe would be up here a lot if he wasn't the one taking the pictures. Gabe would have appreciated having beer at his wake. Is that Jed without his beard? Guess nobody needed this. Forecast called for rain, but the skies have been clear. I had an incredible mom. And I decided I wanted to be a ranger. She was the first person I told. She said... She said, You're exactly what these mountains need. Oh, Yeah. Mom. So the last week was for Jed's wife, Ryan's mom. I should put something here. It's the least I can do. They must have been close. Poor Ethan. I hope Ducky didn't finish this by himself. Courtesy of Haven's favorite DJ, I bet. Gabe Chen. Smooth criminal. <laughs> this is a bicycle. 
Bicycle speeding, taking prep to Black Lantern for questioning. Real wise guy. I wish we'd had more time. Maybe I can find something upstairs to put on the memory table. If I never saw mining equipment ever again, it'd be too soon. Would have been fun to let Gabe kick my ass at pool. Why do I feel like this is a challenge? I'll spend the rest of my life wondering what would have happened if Ryan hadn't cut that rope. I bet he will too. That's the worst fucking part about a death that's really sudden is that you basically spend your entire life wondering if any little thing could have changed what happened and what you could have done to stop it and like as much as you know that that thinking doesn't help anyone you can't stop yourself from thinking that way like you will always wonder and wonder like if i had just done one thing differently would something have changed like if they hadn't cut that rope would they have been able to pull gabe back wonder up wonder what i can find up here to add to gabe's memory table but who knows you know why are dishes always the first thing to slip when your life falls apart It's a start. Clean home, clean mind. Right, Dr. Lin? Okay. That did make me feel a little better. I think I should take the album, yeah. Or the photos. Hmm. God, I can't decide. Because Alex did say that the album was one of the best memories she has with him. You know what? Let's take the album. This is perfect for the memory table. Because this is a better memory. Yeah, we'll take the album. Anyways, I don't know if I even finished my thought from before, but no matter how much Ryan is going to blame himself for cutting that rope, like, he made the best decision he could to save Alex because most likely from what he saw those rocks were coming down way too fast and if those fell down Alex would have gone straight down that that mountain they did not have enough time or strength to pull him back up before those fell and he he cut it at the very last second when he knew that there was nothing he could have done so there's no point wondering what would happen if he didn't because if he didn't cut that I rope, should take this down to the table. And they tried to pull Gabe back up and Alex went down too, then he'd be blaming himself for not cutting the rope and letting both of them die, you know? So there's no point in him wondering. But I understand it's so hard to stop yourself from doing that. Glad I have something to add to Gabe's table. Fun, goofy album for my goofy, fun big brother. All right, time to head out. Let's go talk to talk to Charlotte. R M and T B. I wonder who they were. No one could blame me for wanting to drink all my sorrows away. I've only known Jed a few days, but he's got my back better than any care worker ever did. Hopefully, things around here can settle down again. Yeah, that'd be good. 
I can't believe Steph actually drank that bedazzled kiwi whatever the fuck shot. Okay, Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop, but I have time to swing by the dispensary if I want. A year ago, I was ready to ditch this place to keep moving like I always do, and a year ago, Gabe was the reason I stayed. But even though he's gone now, and even though I miss him like hell, I still have reasons to stay. Thanks for showing me that, Alex, even if you do cheat at foosball. Girl, please, I am the champ fair and square. Mac commented but deleted it. Hey, do you have a sec to swing by the store? Maybe. What's up? Nothing big. I'll tell you when you get here. Okay, so I can visit staff and I can visit Charlotte. Alex, can you come by the dispensary sometime? I think I need your advice. Sure thing. Okay. So we'll do the flower shop later. Let's visit staff and visit Charlotte. Alright. How do we get around? On one hand, there's the open road and the freedom to run away from my problems. On the other, helmet hair. Okay, so we're at the bar right now. Okay. This is probably the most haven thing I've seen yet. Is there like a map? I don't know what's what. Oh, that's gotta be the dispensary. Insert epiphany about new beginnings here. Oh, those are columbines. Columbines are really beautiful flowers. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. All right, let's go in. Oh, sorry. We met briefly. You're Gabe Chen's sister, right? Alex, yeah. I didn't know him well, but I could tell he had a big heart. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you, Diane. Charlotte? Alex, hey. Jed said you wanted to see me? I just wanted to see how you were doing. I'm okay. Keeping my chin up. Sometimes that's all you can do. How about you? I can't even imagine what you're going through. Honestly, I'm really trying to keep it together for Ethan. He's hurting. Is he all right? He practically just lost a father. But he's shutting me out. He's never done that before. Not when it mattered. Everyone grieves differently. Maybe he just needs some time. We've been through a lot together. With the divorce and moving. He's never shut down like this. I just can't get through to him. I can't get over the feeling that the one person who could help me deal with the aftermath of Gabe's death Escape. Yeah, I understand that feeling. What is this? An affidavit. From Typhon. If I sign, I'm agreeing not to press charges. In exchange for a payment. A big one. That's a hard decision. 
That's so shady. Why would they be offering you money if they didn't do anything wrong? They say it's an offer of good faith. But you're right. He's dead because of them. And I'd be letting them off. Are you gonna sign it? I don't know. I'm trying to put Ethan first, but... It's a hard decision. What would you do? Do you think it would be a betrayal of Gabe? I don't think I would take it. I don't think you should sign it. I'm sorry. I know it's hard, but you can't let Typhon buy you off. Gabe made that call, and I'm gonna prove it. I just, I need some time. Thanks for being honest. I wouldn't blame her if she did sign it though. Like Gabe is gone and they need the money, but. If they're willing to pay Charlotte to keep quiet, they're definitely hiding something. I really appreciate you stopping by. Feel free to take a look around if you want. I'm gonna figure out why Max lying. Of course, she's right. But I could really use that money. We can't give in, no matter how hard it is. Glass pipes are so cool. They're like works of art. That can also get you high. Sweet logo. Bet Charlotte designed it herself. Probably cost more than my bus ticket. I really love Charlotte's style. Aww, Alex is so cute. That's a Zemi. In the Dominican, they're said to house the spirits of gods. Mostly, I just like how it looks. It's really cool. When did you start needing a PhD to smoke pot? Stairway to Haven? Believe it or not, Gabe named that one. Oh, I believe it. It blows my mind that Charlotte's been running the dispensary this whole time. I couldn't even leave the apartment. Hi everyone, as you may have heard, someone very close to me has recently passed away. The last few days have been very hard on me and Ethan, but we're doing our best to keep our heads up. So many of you have reached out. So many of you have reached out with kind words and that has meant the world. I cannot thank you enough for your support. I'll try to open the store for a few hours every afternoon, but things will probably be a little sporadic for the next few weeks. Sorry for any inconvenience and thank you in advance for your patience. Your friendly neighborhood bud tender, Charlotte. God, put some clothes on. Wonder what it's like to have I do my drugs out of a glass sculpture type of money. These bougie dispensaries are gonna put all the creepy dudes named Gene out of business. Man, these things better do the trick. I'm averaging like three hours a night. Pro tip, insomnia doesn't usually come from nowhere, and THC is way better at treating it when you're also tackling the underlying cause. Any idea what's keeping you up? I hope these helped a little, Gabe. Charlotte's dedication to her art is so inspiring. There's nothing quite like a cup of weed on a cold day. Which part of the brain is responsible for the crazy glowy feelies?
I'm always here for you if you need anything. All right, it's time to Thanks. go. Back at you. Honestly, I feel so strongly for Charlotte because what she said is so true. Like, the one thing that's so different about when somebody who passes away is your significant other is that, like, that's the person you always go to, you know, when you're feeling down or you need something or you need somebody to be there for you. Like, that's your person, you know? And so when that person is the person who passes away, it's like, that's the one person who could have comforted you in a situation like that. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. It's just an it's awful fine. situation. I love being on. Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. Steph asked me to swing by. She's got to be around here somewhere. Helpful. Be back in five or ten, maybe fifteen. Looks like Steph might be working on a new project. Another issue of legendary monster hunter Thanor. Time to pay a visit to an old friend, Snap, or should I say an old enemy? You don't belong here, Monster Slayer. I'm not leaving here until I get answers. You won't be leaving at all. No, where is the Sky Sword? Fine, I'll tell you. The sword was last seen in the city of Carneris. Carneris, but it's infested with were spiders. All who quest for that sword lose something dear to them. But I'm destined to save the realm with the Sky Sword. Good thing you won't be questing alone. Elwyn. Chrissy looks sweet. It would definitely be wrong to claim someone else's lost dog. Right? Ninth Warden's cool, but not as cool as Thanor. Haven't listened to Firewalk in a while. I like their old stuff better anyway. I can't believe he ordered that record. Fuck. There is Steph. I hope we all get to see more adventures of Thanor. I'm glad Gabe convinced her to stay. Haven's favorite, and only, choice for modern rock. Hey, I'm glad you stopped by. I've only got a sec, but... Have you talked to Ethan at all? He's taking it really hard. But what you did for me this morning got me thinking. What if Ethan needs something like that too? Something fun and distracting. Something like a LARP. Like the one you and Gabe were gonna take him to? Yeah, but designed just for him and Thanor. He'll love that. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. I need your help, though. I want it to be as good as it can be. Ethan gave you one of his comics, right? So, what do you think? Who would the famous monster slayer have the most fun defeating? Cravius looks pretty badass. Go with that. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, I, I gotta get back in there. There's some stuff in my comp book. Be cool if you could check it out. Help me make some calls. I'll see what I can do. This is so cute. We've got a sweet block of indie rock coming down the pike, but- Oh. Looks like Steph wants me to do more than just make some decisions. She wants me to play a bard. Because she knows that Alex plays the guitar, she made her a bard, a half-elf. How did you meet Thanar? Fill in your character. That's fucking cute. Guess I'm in. Let's start with my name. Sponsored by Typhon Mining Company. The mission is free this year, so bring your friends, bring your family. Hell, bring your ex. I'm sure it'll be different this time. How about a throwback to Ethan's old buddy? Ability time. Distortion field sounds fun, but healing serenade could really come in handy. I'm always a healer. 
healing serenade it is. How did I meet Thanor? He would like the heroics. It was a dark and stormy night. This LARP thing just might work. Let's hope I can do all one justice. It was a dark and stormy night, but that didn't stop the townsfolk from gathering to make merry in the amphitheater. Under the roof and with beers aplenty, none noticed the beast lurking in the darkness. They didn't stand a chance. The beast attacked, killing all in its path. I fought bravely, but alas, I am a singer, not a fighter. Just as my strength failed, a brave warrior appeared. Thanor the monster slayer. Together we fought off the beast and slayed the town. Saved the town, oh my god. <laughs> That's the worst fucking slip of the tongue I could have said. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Saved the town. Alright, we're gonna go to the flower shop, and that's the Still last thing we're gonna flower do. Shop for Mac. Where is the flower shop? Hey, saw what you did with the LARP. Thank you so much. Of course. I think Ethan's gonna love it. Nice to know. Hipsters can survive at this altitude. What? What, what am I missing? Really looking Bald guy. To climbing tower. Yikes. Jesus. It ain't that bad being bald. It's gotta be down this way. Still haven't found Mac. Jed suggested I check the flower shop. Look, I'm working on it. How did I? Oh, it's right here, right here, right here. I don't know how I missed that. Eleanor? Oh! <gasps> Poor <Sorry>. lady. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? Oh. I'm, um... Still just trying to adjust, I think. Give yourself some time. Change is always hard. Uh, is Mac here? Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Thanks. Now, what was I? Excuse hmm. me? She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this. Oops. Why is she so scared? Especially when I mentioned Mac. Figure out why she's afraid. How does she hide all of this? All my memories, all my memories are, fading. are fading. I feel, I feel broken. broken. Her memories are fading. Does she have Alzheimer's or something? Thank you, dear. We'll get started on it right away. Just come by with the check whenever you're free. If Riley, if Riley finds, finds out. out. 
She can't, she can't find, out. find out. Yeah, she's starting to forget people and forget things. Jesus. The doctor said I had more time, but everything is becoming so out of order. So she wasn't afraid for me mentioning Mac. She was afraid because she couldn't remember what she was doing. If they know if they about, know my, about condition, my condition, they'll make me close, make this, me place. close this place. Oh, and she doesn't want to lose the shop. That must be why Mac was helping her. Holy shit. Clock. That's such it's a not perfect that she thing to use what in she this was moment. Doing. She's afraid she's forgetting everything. But how can I help her? Forget what you were working on? <sighs> you could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, uh, I don't want to keep you. <sighs> hey. Must have flipped the sign to open. I always flip it first thing when I come in, and then I open my mail. Ugh. Something must have distracted me. Better. We can do this. Maybe getting a phone call? Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes. I got a call first thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Oh my god, even Maybe the numbers falling off the clock. You. Maybe it was Riley that, d that called her. Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. It was Riley. She called to tell me about a new order. Goodness, what was the order for? Yeah, so the fact that these are ready, maybe that's what the order was for. Rush order. This must be what Riley came in for. Okay, yeah, so it was this next. I think that order might have been for these lilies. Of course. Riley helped me pick them out before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. In the register. This is such a cool effect, like the clock ticking, the time being crazy, all of the words are kind of scrambled. It shows like what her mind the is like right the now. The lilies would be in here, right? That could tell us who bought them. It should. Mr. Jedediah Lucan, huh? Aw, Jed bought lilies. Looks like the lilies are for Jed. That's right. 
Riley dropped off an order for Jed. I knew you'd figure it out. I couldn't have done it without you. Seriously, Alex. You're a godsend. Aww, she's learning to use her powers for good. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies, though. They're traditionally for funerals. Oh, God. She doesn't remember. She already forgot about Gabe. You have to tell her. They were... They were for Gabe's wake. Gabe's wake? Gabe's wake. I missed it. Alex. I'm I'm so sorry. Hey, it's okay. You, you didn't remember. <laughs> It's not your fault, but we have to tell her the truth. Okay, that sucked. But at least I told her the truth. She's really hurting, but I didn't want to lie to her. That poor young man. How did I forget? I'm so sorry, Eleanor. Okay. Riley is officially a badass. I've definitely lived in uglier places. Yeah, Haven Springs is beautiful. I hope it's good news. Oh God, they're multiplying. What do you want? You want to make fun of me too, like those other jock assholes? What? No. I, you made a sick killer robot and won a fucking contest. That's. First of all, we got third place. And anyway, he's not a robot. Technically, he's. Ugh. God. Way to take the bait, right? Oh, I love Riley. You know what? Fuck those pricks. You rule. And I would really like to see your robot. If you want to show me. Max, not all bad, but he has some real bad fucking tendencies. Riley's so cool, though. Badass fucking woman engineer. I love her. All right, we're going to have to go find Mac next time. Better to end it here today because we got a lot of stuff done. We visited Eleanor, we visited Steph, and we visited Charlotte. We hung out with Steph, and we went to Gabe's Wake. And right at the beginning, we saved Ethan from the mine. So, we got a lot done. And next time, we're going to figure out this fucking mystery, and we're going to start unraveling what happened to Gabe and why. I can't wait to get into all of that. I want to take down whoever the fuck messed with Gabe and caused his death. So someone's got to answer for this crime and we are going to make sure that that happens. <laughs> Anyways, go ahead and leave a like if you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe if you'd like to see more and I will see you guys on the next episode. Bye!